This is a spot you don't want to hang your hammock. In a tree that's dropping snow and ice all over you. For the past seven to eight years, I've been a photographer for Grand Trunk, uh, shooting photos of their hammocks all over Oregon. And about five years ago, I decided not to bring tents anymore and just strictly hammock camp. Well, since then, I've had quite a few people ask me, how do you hang up a hammock and how do you choose where to hang up your hammock? Well, hopefully I can give you some pointers. My main motivation for hanging up a hammock is my view. Sometimes you get a nice watery view of a lake or a river. Sometimes you can have a mountain view. Uh, sometimes just being in the forest is a view good enough. So come with me and let me show you how to hang your hammock. So, how do you hang up a hammock? First, you want to find two trees that are strong enough to hold your weight. So this tree right here is going to work just fine, and this tree over here. So the first thing you need to do is get your straps on the tree. I like to have my strap be at least head height. Because these trees are so small in diameter, we don't need that much slack, so we're gonna have to double, if not triple, loop this around the tree to make sure we get the proper hang. Keep in mind, you might have to do the wrap around on both trees. So how you unstuff your hammock bag is going to reflect on how you stuff it. I always stuff my hammock bag with one carabiner first thing in the bottom and then my second carabiner, or the last carabiner, on top. I can hold my hammock in my arm, reach up, hook it, and then string it out, keeping it off the ground until I'm able to pull the second carabiner out and hook it. Then sometimes you gotta go back and forth to make sure you got it hanging the right way. To get in your hammock, grab one side, keep it spread apart with your arms and just sit back in it. You can sit forward facing with a nice recliner or the proper way to lay in a hammock is not straight head to toe from tree to tree. It's actually at an angle, head to toe. Not really at an angle. Pretty flat. I can even roll over on my side or stomach. Now this hammock is a little low to the ground. You want it so you can sit about like that. So make a quick adjustment. Now that's a little too high can't really touch the ground and my hammock's a lot stiffer. It doesn't allow me to hang flat so I'm gonna reduce it by one. On this side. And I think I just did that with one hand. There we go. Perfect height and I can lay flat. Say you can't find the perfect trees to hang your hammock and it's just too far apart. One thing you can do is you take a piece of paracord, you attach it from one carabiner to the other, and that's called your ridge line. What you do is you tighten it up so that it creates a little bit of slack in your hammock. Let me show you. Take the cord, stick, pull it tight, and then to the other side. 
So to make the second loop, pull the cord all the way through, then you pinch it back through again and through itself. And that's not how you do it, but I think that's gonna work. Now you can see there's a sag. And when you sit in it, so it's not quite tight, so we need to tighten it more. So I'll come over here to this first one, pull this cord, <laughs> and we'll just go ahead and do that. Pull it tight so it's loose, take it back through, pull it through, there you go. Set up the ridge line, you can take your glasses, hang them up on it, but you want it, when you're sitting in it, you want it to kind of be tight, it sounds like a guitar string or a bass. Slap it to bass. So that's your ridge line. So a few things about the hammock that I really love is it gets me up off the ground. I have bad shoulders, so being on the ground, having pressure points on my shoulders, hips, knees, it wears on you, especially after you've been hiking all day. So a hammock, one, gets you off the ground. Two, um, they're really lightweight, way lighter than a tent. Um, if you get an underquilt, you don't even have to bring a sleeping bag. I mean, yeah, you don't have to bring a sleeping bag or you don't have to bring a sleeping pad. Sometimes you do kind of miss, you know, having a place be secure from the bugs, but they make some really good mosquito net uh, hammocks, so that protects you from the bugs. It's kind of nice being able to sit there and hang in the trees like a burrito, just waiting for a bear to come take a bite out of you. <laughs> All right, so what did we learn today? We learned that when you pick a hammock spot, you wanna make sure the trees are a good distance apart, eight to 10, 15 feet. I'm looking for a nice spot. If the trees are too far apart, and your hammock is too tight, ridge line. So thanks for watching. Maybe next time we'll set up a rain shelter and see how that goes. I almost forgot, we gotta pack this up. So I'm packing it, and I'm gonna take this carabiner, unhook it, and take it directly to the pouch. Stuff that end in first. And then you have the last carabiner. It's now the first carabiner. Go right on top. Way smaller than a tent. Oh, <laughs>